Stanford University. Thanks, Chris. So before I begin by telling you about our food startup called Homemade Cooking, I'd like to ask for some audience participation. So my first question is, anyone out there who's ever been on a diet of any kind, please put your hand up. OK, keep them up. And now, if you manage to lose weight while you're on the diet, keep your hand up. OK, now my final question. Put your, no, keep your hands up. <laughs> now, put your hand down if once you stopped the diet, you put any or all of the weight back on. Look around the room. I should have got you to look around before. Let's do it one more time. Hands up if you ever went on a diet and managed to lose weight. Look around the room. And now, keep your hand up if you kept the weight off once your diet ended. So this is why we created Homemade. Because for most people, the very vast majority of people, diets don't work. Anyone can lose weight by adopting a strict regime or a restricted eating plan, but once you stop, you put the weight back on and then some. So homemade is not a diet, it's a lifestyle, and we want to revolutionise the weight loss industry by empowering people to adopt healthy eating changes that are really sustainable. So what is homemade? Homemade is a weekly cooking community for sustainable weight loss. We bring our members together every week in a real community and we teach them how to cook delicious, healthy meals from scratch. Our members support and inspire each other in a real community under the guidance of our expert cooking instructors and nutrition instructors. And the twist is that every week they take home a week's worth of healthy portion controlled meals that we made from local and seasonal ingredients. This makes it easy and convenient for them to eat healthy during the week. And our program is working. So far, most of our members have all been sustainably losing weight up to 25 pounds in three months. Many of our pre-diabetic members have reported reduced blood sugars. Some have reported lower cholesterol levels. And many of our members have reported better skin, better sleep, better mood, and more energy. So, my personal story of how I came to Homemade starts in Australia where I was actually working as a commercial litigation lawyer after doing an undergraduate degree in law. I was Australian Young Lawyer of the Year in 2008 and I moved to the States in 2011 as a Fulbright Scholar to do a master's degree at Berkeley where I decided I never wanted to go back to law. <laughs> Then I came to Stanford and I did a different master's degree and that's where I met Chloe and we started working together on this project to address obesity and lifestyle diseases in the Graduate School of Business one year ago. We went full time approximately four months ago when we graduated in June and my personal passion for homemade comes from years of struggling with my eating as an ice skater in Australia. I did national championships in Australia for four years, and as you can imagine, in ice skating, there's a lot of focus on your body, so a lot of the girls had body image issues and eating disorders. And I myself was tortured by my eating and my weight, even though I was always of normal weight and very athletic for years, and I tried everything under the sun, all the fad diets and everything. And it was only after years of this that I discovered that diets don't work and what works is adopting a healthy eating lifestyle based on cooking your own food, eating whole natural foods, and that's the model that Homemade has adopted. So Homemade is my dream in action of empowering other people to adopt a truly sustainable healthy eating lifestyle. Thanks. As for me, I became a doctor because I wanted to comfort, heal and save lives. But earlier this year, I actually shocked all my family and friends by withdrawing my application to residency. And the reason is this. Throughout med school, I became increasingly bothered by lifestyle diseases, chronic conditions, obesity, diabetes, heart conditions, you name it. Because they're so morbid, so expensive, so difficult to treat, so demoralizing, but yet at the same time, so preventable. I remember on my surgery rotation, 
I participated in many uh, foot amputations of diabetic patients. And then it shocked me to realize that it's only the beginning of a series of more gradual and more upward amputations because they're just not getting better. I also remember preaching and counseling about diet and exercise in a primary care setting. I would nag and nag about weight loss. It's a key for patients to get their health back. But when I leave the room, I feel deflated. And the patients look more disempowered because how do they start? What do they do? They've tried and it's so hard. And it just feels so bad to be always failing at something. So I set out to try to find a solution to truly sustainable lifestyle change. And here we are, we created homemade. Homemade, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle and it's working. So people always ask me, don't you wanna practice medicine? Don't you wanna go back? And to that I answer, I am practicing the best medicine ever. <laughs> It's preventative, it's inspiring, and it's joyful. When Anne and I take homemade nationwide, we'll get to prevent hundreds and thousands, if not millions, cases of diabetes and lifestyle diseases. And that'll be so much more meaningful and impactful than trying to prescribe medications one patient at a time for the rest of my life. So, as you can see from our examples, a doctor-lawyer partnership in the healthy cooking weight loss startup. <laughs> there is really no prescribed path to your passion. The only requirement that I recommend is that you have to care about something so badly that you think about it, you talk about it, you get so mad about it. And well, if you have that something you feel so strongly about, congratulations. You'll be able to follow your heart and blaze your own trails. Thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.